Hey, hey, everybody. It's your girl, Jen. And if we're hanging out, well, I guess it must be Sunday. Sexy Sunday. <laughs> well, today, you know, y'all, I'm glad you came to hang out with me. Um, I was going to do you guys a video on the color black, but I saw something that really disturbed me, struck me right in my heart. Heart. <laughs> left nope right left right <laughs> anyways um i just wanted to let you know that this video may be a little shorter than most of my videos um it's just that the world is crazy anymore and i want you guys to have inspiration from the right places and like i said i was going to do it on the color black but instead we got something different um if you're new here, hi, my name is Jen. <laughs> uh, if we haven't already established that. Um, and before I forget, uh, like and share. Hey, it's a free way to help you girl out. Um, right now I'm at 20 subscribers. Come on, let's get to 50. Share this with someone. Have a friend of yours, you know, say, hey, I know this chick. She tries hard. She works hard. Hit, you know, hit that subscribe. You don't even have to watch all of the video. You don't have to watch any video if you don't want to. <laughs> Just hit the subscribe and move on. Or, hey, if you like my videos, hang around with me. Um, to those of you who's been around since the beginning, I love you. Um, we sometimes in October do some darker stuff, and I'm already doing my research on that. But, but for today, oh, and if you watch my other videos where I said redheads should never wear red, I still stick by that, but I got this shirt at the motorcycle shop, see, and they didn't have it in black, <laughs> and they didn't have it in gray or white or any other color, so red was the only one I could get if I wanted one, and I wanted it so bad, so, hey, the red. Um, but today, I want to talk to you guys about something I came across. Um, it was a docu-series that premiered on Apple TV uh, on September 9th, which wasn't that long ago. But this docu-series, um, it follows Hillary Clinton and um, her daughter Chelsea as they go out and speak to... Um, women artists and activists and community leaders and it's based on uh, the New York best-selling book of gutsy women but hold up okay the people that they're going out and speaking with and talking to are more lucky than gutsy now no, don't get me wrong um, it takes some courage it takes some courage to get on a stage anywhere. It takes some courage to even get in front of a camera and talk to you guys and put it out on the internet. And boy, you damn well better have some tough skin to put yourself out there on the internet because you would not believe some of the comments you would get. Um, but the reason that I felt like I should say something is because the women they're following are in the mainstream. They're in the limelight. They're people everyone knows, okay? Or or they have a little bit of fame already. But y'all, we all know. We all know who the real gutsy women are. And let me tell you, the gutsy women are the ones who get up every day work non-stop from the time they get up to the time they go to bed they work two jobs they're a single mom they're raising two or three kids by themselves they put food on the table they get clothes on their kids back they send their kids through school and then maybe even add on a third job to send one of them to college now that's gutsy and i'll tell you something else that's gutsy <laughs> and it's that little girl that goes into, and I don't mean girls, I mean just smaller women, who go into a man's world 
and work in a factory running any kind of machinery, or the, the woman who goes into the warehouse in a man's job and puts herself out there. Okay, so this one I'm going to tell myself, and I'm not saying I'm any gutsier than anybody else, but most of y'all know me. <laughs> really know me. Most of the people who subscribe to my channel actually know me, and y'all know, honey, I got some balls. <laughs> um, but real gutsy women are the ones who go into a man's job, might weigh 100 pounds soaking wet, run 1,200 ton machinery, and let me tell you when I first started doing that, I would stop mid-shift I'd go sit in the bathroom saying, God, I don't know if I can do it another minute. I don't know if I can go back and do it. Because the doors to open on this machinery, even though it slid on wheels, was 200 pounds. And I've got a picture to prove what I'm talking about. And that's me. And I ran 200... The doors were 200 pounds. I ran 1,200 ton machinery. Um, sometimes I would do it with a handheld ladle. The ladle weighed 5 pounds. No way can you use two hands. Sometimes the ladle may weigh 10 pounds. Now, I did that because I needed a job, and that's how I paid for my college. I also worked my way up through the ranks all the way till I was the head of the quality department. And when this company was going under... Then I got a job at a hammer factory, you know, they, uh, they made, they forged. So they had these huge hammers that would come down and they had never, never hired a woman in that department for quality. Gutsy is being the first woman to ever be hired in a man's job and happen to deal with that every single day. Okay. Um... There are so many gutsy women in the world. It's, let me tell you, from what I can understand, Queen Elizabeth, and we all know she just died, you know, moment of silence for that woman. She was not included in this series because according to Hillary Clinton, there was just so many gutsy women to choose from. Well, hey, Queen Elizabeth would have been on the top of the list if I was going to go for the famous ones. Now, gutsy is when you put on a crown, you're in your mid-20s, you're, you're still finding yourself, but all of a sudden, honey, you got a country to run and millions of people to worry about. And to do it until you die for like years and years and years. That takes courage, that takes guts. Or to go out, be the woman that goes out there on that tree cutting, um, you know, where they cut the trees and they clear the roads. To be that woman that goes out there and holds that chainsaw, that takes guts. Because honey, I saw what happens when you can get hit with a chainsaw. <laughs> or any woman who goes out into a man's world and holds her own, now that takes guts. That's real guts. And the ones who pull themselves up out of poverty and the ones who can live on a limited budget and the ones who have been down to the bottom, addicted to to drugs and not knowing what they're going to do next and then to pull themselves up by their bootstraps and to get back up and to start over, that is a guts. That takes guts. That's a gutsy woman. Or someone who loses everything they have and they have nothing left and all they have is their family, their kids, their husband, their wife, or their wife y'all or whatever um because my daughter has a wife hey that's fine with me <laughs> um but it's those who start over who's lost everything and yet they can still keep their family together and happy and moving forward that is the real gutsy women or the mom who only has 
three eggs and 400 mouths to feed. And she says, I'm not hungry. You guys eat. That's courage. That's guts. Or the mama or the woman who protects her children against all odds, who will stand up in the face of danger and say, oh, you ain't touching my child. You ain't touching what belongs to me. That, that to me is the most gutsy thing you can do. And you know, you can be on TV. I'll never be on TV. I'm here with you guys, but I'll never be in a movie. <laughs> but do I care? No. And the world is full of gutsy women who are breaking down barriers every day. And trust me, you're not going to find them in Hollywood. You might find a few in Nashville. I'm going to tell you, Ashley McBride, um, from what I can hear, nobody believed in her. But she's there, and she's doing it. She's killing it every day. And the little girl from Greenville, um, what's her name? The ones that play um, the Van Perry, which I actually met her. Um, so if you happen to see this docu-series or you're interested in it, if you watch it, remember, you know, that there are real gutsy women out there in the world. And don't forget to tell your mama thank you for what everything she's done for you. And um, because I don't have mine to tell that to anymore. So don't, don't go thinking that if you're young, don't go thinking you're role models for courageous women or gutsy women are on the TV or in Hollywood because they're not. They're not. They're your neighbors. They're your family. They're your cousins. They're your friends. Pay attention to them because those real women are doing some real gutsy things out there. So, um, there was one more thing I wanted to share and I done forgot what it was because y'all, this time, <laughs> no typed out stuff. <laughs> this time it really got to me and under my skin so I wanted to talk straight to you from my heart. Um, and as you know, it's not edited because you know what? I, I'm one of those kind of women who have to deal with what they got. I'm not rich, so I've got to budget my money. So this time, maybe, <laughs> maybe I can afford to get my editing um, software, but I couldn't before. Um, I want to thank you guys for listening and um, help you grow out. Let's, let's grow our community, you know. Um, next video I put up will be on the color black, what colors, you know, what it means and what's the best hair color and skin color and such. It goes with black. Um, so don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Share if you haven't, you know. It's a free way to help you girl out. And then don't forget in October we will be, um, we'll be doing some darker stuff in October. <laughs> I mean, I could only do two last time because you girl don't deal do too good with telling those dark stories, you know, no more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, oh yeah, one more thing, you know, it takes guts and courage to step up and take care of your parents when they're sick and there's no one to take care of them. That's a gutsy woman instead of move clear across the country or clear across town to go be with their sick and dying parents. So don't buy into this um, hype about, you know, the people that are shown in this docuseries. I'm sure they are gutsy. And hell, I bet it did take a lot of guts to stay with uh, Hillary Clinton's husband. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but it probably took a lot of guts for him to stay with her. Um, I don't know which is worse. But anyways, uh, that's my spiel this time. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you next time. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye, y'all.